Hello everybody, my name is Alexi and in this video I am sharing five mistakes in astrophotography. These are not in any particular order and the mistake list is huge, but these are the ones that came into my mind. All right, so the first mistake on our list is to not subscribe to our YouTube. Sorry, it is to not focus properly. And yeah, if you don't take your time to focus properly, it can ruin your session. But the main thing here is that when the temperature changes, your focus will change too. And this is something that especially beginners might not know, but it's true. When the temperature changes, your focus will too. So it's a good idea to check and adjust your focus throughout the night. Bathinom mask is a great tool for achieving perfect focus. We actually make custom bathinom masks alongside with other bathinom masks we sell. Number two on the list is using too high ISO. I know when you are out photographing deep sky objects and you take your first exposures and then you check your camera's LCD screen and you don't see much there. So you crank the ISO to make the image brighter. By doing that, you actually might do more harm than good. See, when you boost your ISO setting, it will introduce more noise and it can create an unhealthy image. I recommend to stick around ISO 800 to 1600 and you have to trust that the data is there. You just have to dig it out in post-processing. Third mistake is crucial and it's not taking any calibration frames. I know that when you are done for the night and you are tired and most likely cold in the dark, you just wanna pack your stuff and go to sleep. Calibration frames are a massive part when it comes to your final image quality. So I highly recommend to use calibration frames every single time. For dedicated astronomy camera users, it's a little bit easier and I mean if you have a cooler on the camera, because then you can adjust and maintain the same temperature on the camera. Because for example, dark frames need to be captured with the same temperature as light frames, so you can capture those inside. And that is one of the advantages of a cool, dedicated astronomy cameras. With calibration frames, you can get rid of vignetting, heat noise, dust and more. So take your calibration frames. Number four, shooting too close to the horizon. When you go out to photograph, it's a good idea to capture something that is high in the sky. And the reason for that is that the seeing is better higher in the sky. Let's say that you discovered a target that you really want to capture, but currently it's, it's really low near the horizon. But then you realize that in a few months, it is going to be a lot higher in the sky. I highly recommend to wait and capture it when it reaches its highest point. During that time, capture something that is right now high in the sky. The atmospheric turbulence gets really bad near the horizon. The fifth and last mistake is rushing polar alignment. And surprisingly, many of us has done this, including myself. And the learn how to polar line goes hand in hand with this because it can really ruin your night if you rush setting up and polar line fast. Maybe you did a tiny error and it starts to cause you problems the second you start your imaging sequence. Maybe your guiding don't work properly and then you start to figure out what caused it and troubleshoot in the dark and it just gets overwhelming. My advice is to take your time to set up and polar line so you can enjoy these rare clear nights under the stars. Anyway, these were the five mistakes in astrophotography. Thank you for watching and clear skies.